कैसे हम लोग जहांगीर मेरे साथ हमजा और आलमगीर चैनल तो गाइस आज हम आपके लिए एक और जबरदस्त किस्म का वीडियो लेके आए वीडियो जी इंडिया टू पॉइंट सेवन बिलियन कैपिटल बिलियन डॉलर बिलियन डॉलर हाँ टू पॉइंट सेवन बिलियन डॉलर कैपिटल कैपिटल प्रोजेक्ट कैपिटल प्रोजेक्ट ठीक है जी तो बहुत ही बड़ा जिसे कहते हैं प्रोजेक्ट है टू शरीय सात बिलियन डॉलर इंडिया का दो टू दो शून्य सात नहीं है दो दशमलव दो दशमलव सात बिलियन बिलियन डॉलर का ये बहुत बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट है देखते हैं जी इसमें क्या क्या है कैपिटल प्रोजेक्ट तो देखते हैं ये The Indian government is planning for a massive redevelopment project in the country's capital, New Delhi. However, the new buildings that will serve as the seat of government will not be built in a new location. Rather, the current administrative center, which includes the Indian Parliament as well as the official seat of the Indian President, will be completely renovated with total costs estimated at around 2.7 billion US dollars. and this project symbolizes a renewal process that has been in the making for a long time the central vista was designed when india was part of the british empire In 1911, the British Imperial government decided to move the capital of the then British Indian Empire from Calcutta to Delhi. The reason for this was strong nationalist protests in Calcutta creating an uncomfortable situation for the colonial government. The construction of a new administrative area was planned at a location that had often served as the political center in the region in the past. This map of Luton's shows their plan. Above in black color is Old Delhi and in red the planned new Imperial Delhi. The architects created a ceremonial axis along which parks and government buildings are located, the King's Way or today Rajpath. Luton's took inspiration from some of the most famous avenues around the world such as Champs-Élysées in Paris which at one end leads to the Arc de Triomphe. In turn, the King's Way designed by Luton's leads towards the All India War Memorial, known today as India Gate. Another great inspiration was the National Mall in the US capital Washington DC. Both cities are characterized by a central axis, which is about 3 and a half kilometers long. Both centers are arranged similarly in terms of their geometry. with shorter cross axes and diagonal streets which lead towards the main way on one end of the washington mall is the capital the seat of congress vice versa on one end of new delhi central axis you find viceroy's house the official seat of the representative of the monarch of the united kingdom Even if architecturally clear similarities can be recognized it is nevertheless important to note that the context in which these two administrative centers were created is fundamentally different After all Washington DC came into being as a result of American independence a new capital city was designed from the ground up The administrative center of India in turn emerged in Delhi which already was one of the oldest cities in the world By setting up their seat of government here, the British linked their monarchy with the deep history of the subcontinent. While Washington was the result of liberation, New Delhi was commissioned by a colonial power. After India gained independence, the administrative district in Delhi became the center of a new independent nation. And it was further developed as many of the buildings had to change their function. Vice Roy's house became Rashtrapati Bhavan, the official residence of the president of India. The parliament which originally housed the Imperial Legislative Council is now used to house both chambers of India's democratically elected parliament. 
Meanwhile, the population of the city increased, and there was immense development pressure on this area. New office buildings were constructed, but there was a lack of vision of how this area should be developed. Today, the Central Vista is certainly a landmark in the country. The parks have become a popular social gathering spot, and every year on January 26th, the Republic Day Parade takes place. However, since many of the buildings are now being used for a different purpose than originally intended, this administrative center actually only houses part of the government buildings. The secretariat buildings are supposed to house the various ministries of the Indian government. However, their size is no longer sufficient, which is why a large part of the ministries, as well as the prime minister's residence, are located outside of Central Vista. Therefore, the Indian government has decided to redevelop the entire area. Under the direction of Indian architect Bimal Patel, the architecture firm HCP designed what is supposed to be the future of Central Vista. The parliament building is clearly too small for today's requirements of India's democracy, and it is in a structurally desolate state. Therefore, a completely new building will be created, right next to the old parliament. While the old parliament is circular, this new parliament is in triangular shape. Nevertheless, it references many of the ideas present in the current parliament's design. Today's parliament building consists of three semicircles that face each other. They house the two chambers of parliament as well as a library. In the middle, there is a common hall from which you can navigate to the different rooms. And in between these halls, there are various courtyards. The whole thing is surrounded by a circle that provides space for offices. In a very similar way, the new parliament will also have office space facing outside. Inside, however, the space is used significantly more effectively by reducing the courtyard area. The two chambers of parliament can therefore be built much larger in order to meet today's requirements. As already mentioned, the secretariat buildings are not sufficient for all the different ministries and many of the buildings that currently stretch along the Rajpat and house additional offices are in poor structural condition. These buildings will therefore be demolished to make way for a massive new central secretariat. This should unite all ministries of the Indian government in one place. These large buildings will each have a courtyard in the middle, which will serve as a meeting and relaxation space. In order to make commuting to work easier, the architects have planned underground electric people movers that stop at every office building. Furthermore, a central conference center is being built in which larger events can be held. It will have various auditoriums as well as a number of conference and seminar rooms. The National Archive building is also located along Rajpat. This currently comprises an old building by Lutens from the imperial period, as well as a newer building that was added later. As part of the current redevelopment, the old building is to be renovated, but otherwise retains its function, while the newer building will be demolished and replaced. Also currently located along Rajpat is the Indira Gandhi National Center for the Arts a major government-funded cultural institution in the country. The center will have to move, as the current buildings will be demolished to make way for the new central secretariat. A new building for the institute is to be built on the India Gate Circle. Another building that needs to make way for the new central secretariat is the National Museum. But since all ministries are now united in this central secretariat, the current secretariat building loses its function. The plan is therefore to relocate the National Museum to these two much larger buildings. The new National Museum will then have three times as much space as it currently does. And architect Patel, who oversees the redevelopment, also considers this a symbolic change that reflects the power of the people in a democratic nation. 
The British built the old secretariat on an elevation, with the government buildings located on Raisna Hill. So guys, this is a very big project. First of all, they told us that it was a process. It was a process. बात स्टार्ट करते हैं वहाँ से इस तरीके से कैसे कैपिटल बना और कैसे कैसे सारा कुछ हुआ कैसे इसको कलकत्ता से दिल्ली में वापस लाया गया फिर कैसे कैसे ये लो राज्यसभा वगैरह सारा कुछ बना फिर उस बनने के बाद फिर उसके बाद ये बताया कि उन्होंने किस तरह से कि इसकी सिमिलरिटीज किस तरह की है वाशिं जो अंग्रेजों का अपना है ब्रिटिम का ठीक है तो उस हिसाब से भी उन्होंने सारा कुछ जबरदस्त तरीके से बताया है सही बात है और काफी कुछ जानने के बारे में पता लगे हालांकि पहले भी मैं इस बारे में जानता हूँ क्योंकि एक दो बार हमने ना मुझे बनाई है कि बनने वाला है हाँ बनने वाला है ये किन्हों डिटेल में बताया है हमें इस तरह नहीं पता था जिस तरह आप पता रखें जिस तरह से इन्होंने बताया ना कि ये ये पुरानी बिल्डिंग्स ये खत्म होगी ये ये बनेगी इस तरह नया पार्लियामेंट हाउस जो बनाया इन्होंने ये पुराने के बिल्कुल साथ बनाया नया पार्लियामें तो सिर्फ यही पे और अंदर जाके यही कुछ हो कि पार्लियामेंट हाउस ही हो कुछ भी नहीं होगा ये नहीं पता कि इसमें अंदर अलग अलग बड़ी बिल्डिंग होगी इधर ये अलग है हाल इधर अलग हाल ये तो बता रहा हूँ लोकसभा और राज्यसभा हम्म मेरे सामने लोकसभा और राज्यसभा में पता क्या होगा हाँ एक है कि लोकल नहीं यहाँ पे तो है ही नहीं ना ये पंजाब पर जैसे पंजाब ही समली है इस्लामाबाद में पार्लियामेंट है इस्लामाबाद में है इसको लादा किया हुआ तो वहाँ पे उसकी अपनी है ही भी नहीं सिर्फ पार्लियामेंट है ठीक है नेशनल समली ठीक है तो इसमें एक नेशनल समली भी होगी दूसरी प्रोविंशियल समली भी होगी दूस क्योंकि दिल्ली छोटा नहीं है ना सात बड़े बड़े एरियाज को ना एरिया भी ना अपना एरिया भी सही बात है चार पांच करोड़ लोग हैं हाँ सो गैस बहुत ही जबरदस्त और इंटरेस्टिंग किस्म का वीडियो था ये देखेंगे कि इसके ऊपर जो है इंप्लीमेंट कब शुरू होता है कि दो शेयर सात बिलियन डॉलर का प्रोजेक्ट